We're gonna have to bring up. So we are back. I'm back to Power World. I'm I'm still alive. Dear God, what happened, right? What happened to your beloved commander? What the hell happened, right? What what happened? What happened? Talk to us. What the hell happened to you? Alright, alright, I'll start talking. Jeez. What's in my arm here? So, as y'all know, uh, all she pretty much covered it, but, uh, allow me to explain my, I, uh, perspective of this. So, for the past two days, I've, uh, been in the hospital, basically, the past 48 hours. Uh, after my birthday stream, I'm going to be real, stuff went down, bro and broettes, alright, cadets, stuff went down. I kind of had a, uh, kind of had a, an, an episode. Doctors thought it was a heart attack at first. It was a huge panic attack that turned into a bit of a seizure. Um, I'm okay. There's no brain damage. What they thought was a heart attack was a seizure, and luckily, like Ashi was like coming to see me anyways that day because like, oh, she just got back you know, and everything from her court case. And she's going to talk about that tomorrow with her uh, new uh, new officer outfit, right? Uh, she wanted to make sure, like, y'all were all informed while I was at the hospital. Now, I was rushed to a hospital in Dallas. Now, Dallas is known to have some of the best hospitals in the state for, like, heart attacks or seizures and stuff, so, and testing for all that. I I'm gonna admit, I was freaked the fuck out, you know, like, when I came out of it. I I'm still, like, feeling, like, a little nauseous from, like, all the medical food. Uh, it's freaking crazy. Now, uh, since my return... Uh, I will admit, like it has left me a little bit shaken, but not stirred. I'm shaken, but I'm not stirred, you know? Usually how it is with me. Um, uh, but... So staying at the hospital, like, doctors were, uh, they were very kind and loving. They were understanding, well, they weren't loving, but they were kind and understanding. They were, they were making sure that I was okay, and everything, and like, holy crud, a uh, whole ordeal that was. And how'd you get stuck in the building again? This dumbass bird always gets stuck somewhere where he's not supposed to be. First is the house, then it's over all the tool shed. What's next? My underwear drawer? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so. I, I, I gotta keep it down, cause I gotta keep myself calm, cause like. You know, doctors said, uh, me constantly getting, like, overhyped and, like, upset and stuff was the reason why, uh, well, my blood pressure spiked so high. And, uh, my blood pressure spiked 
where uh, I got seriously upset and depressed that day after, like, my birthday stream, because, like, uh, gonna be real, nobody showed up, and it kind of, kind of made me upset, but, uh, then somebody from my past ended up contacting me on my birthday and harassing me. I want to visit that tree, god dang it. Oh, well. Can't wait for that update to go to that tree. That'll be so goaded. So, we're gonna go to the research center here. Like, we have no rockets. But we got the lasers. Cadets, we got the lasers. So, we're gonna switch this out for that. No, not the one I wanted to get. There we go. Okay, so we got the sword. We got the shoddy. We got the lazy. And we got uh, the machini. Where's the door to this thing again? So we're going to take on the bolts. New boss. We're going to take them on. We're stronger than before. Do you think we can win, cadets? Let's find out. So, uh, yeah, I will admit. I know I gave y'all a bit of a scare, and that was not my intent. <laughs> to obviously, like, go through that amount of stress in my life. You're burning, you're burning. And you're feeling the laser. How do you like that shit? Doctors treated me well. I will still need donations and help for that for like my doctor bills. Because like I I have shitty insurance. What VTuber doesn't have shitty insurance, right?
Bringing out the big guns. Not cool, Shadow Chicken. Straight to the shadow around when I'm done with you. I'm almost out of lasers. Huh? Alpha, Rita has escaped. Deploy teenagers with attitude. her model got new touch ups because I always believe like a you know oh friendship and loyalty should always be rewarded appropriately especially with if like your subordinates and your friends that which Ashi is both She, she is a good friend, and she is a subordinate. She came and checked up on me on the hospital while I was there. Um, you know, she brought me a meal every once in a while from like Dairy Queen or Burger King or whatever, you know, like, obviously because I can't stand hospital food. Even though I was forced to drink it, you know, and that kind of stuff. Like, I couldn't stand it. Oh my god. First thing I did after getting out of the hospital last night was like, Ashi, Dairy Queen, now, or Pizza Hut, either one. Effective immediately. She goes, alright, fine, whatever. I understand. I said, no, you don't, because I have to go oh, to the bathroom so freaking hard, because, like, oh my god, after, like, eating that hospital food for so long, it hit my stomach so freaking raw, 
long. Oh my god, that stuff was disgusting. I cannot stay in hospital food. If you stay in hospital food, I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all got a tougher gut than mine. Alright? Like, oh my... Ugh. Oh, but uh, then, like, it was even worse after I put some actual food in my uh, stomach, right? I put actual food in my stomach. What ended up happening afterwards? Everything started uh, to hit me wrong. Because what I thought was, like, you know, one and done, you know, like, get some food, get some real food in my belly, I found out, oh! Holy freaking crap, Bola! Like, I really ha had to go back to the bathroom because everything just flooded out of my backside. And I realized all the food in that hospital was literally made out of, like, some kind of tofu. Because, like, when you eat tofu for a while, like, obviously, when you eat solid food, that stuff flows out like a raging waterfall. It literally just... The floodgates open, and all hell broke loose from my backside. I was back in the bathroom, but this time I was in there for like a good, like, 10 minutes. And like, one of the staff members, you know... What Ashi told me, one of the staff members ended up asking her, saying, Is your friend okay? I said, I don't know, but I'm not going in the men's room. And so they sent a male employee in there, right? And this is a public restroom, so, like, I don't know what to tell you. As soon as he walked in, he was like, Whoa, ho, ho, Nelly, what do you eat? Because this guy I just smelled the worst smell known to man. And he ran out of there, and he said, What did your friend eat? And... Ashi ended up telling me he told the, uh... Guy in saw uh, that literally just said that. Hospital food. He said, which hospital? <laughs> uh, she said, uh... Dallas Good Shepherd Hospital. Because that explains a lot. Their food in there is, like, all of their food is basically made out of, like, tofu and stuff. And that's when she realized that's why he's in the bathroom so long. You may want to send up a cleanup crew. And, like, I had to flush the commode several times. It was messed up. Oh my god. My gut was then churning, mixing around. It was cramping. Oh, it was cramping. Oh, it was cramping so hard. Oh god, somebody called Krampus. Right? Because I was cramping so hard. And it was literally about like 13 minutes, maybe 14 minutes when I was done. And I came out. And, like, all the people in the restaurant were looking at me going, like, You okay, fam? I go, No! No, I'm not okay! I wasn't like that, but I felt like saying it like that, you know? It's one of those instances in life where you literally just have the worst experience. And for me, that was the absolute worst experience a guy can go through. Like, at least in the commode, you know? Like, not me. Not funny. And tofu is, like, when you're a guy that eats actual, like, food, actual, like, meat, vegetables, uh, and stuff like that, soda like that, like, and you eat tofu for, like, at least about, like, over 48 hours, 
nothing but tofu who uh replicated food, it does that to you. Like American prison systems, they serve the same junk. Right? And I had no idea they served the same junk in the hospital. This hospital. So I was rushed to this hospital in Dallas. Despite the food being rather bland, like everyone there was really nice. They kept an eye on me, you know, like they did their job. Uh, they did a few like brain scans of what happened. They found, oh, I had a seizure from like stress. Uh, stress-induced seizure, in other words. And uh, they, they said, I should, like, try to avoid as much stress for a while as possible. I was like, that's not really an option, I'm a streamer. And they go, oh, so you're sort of kind of like Asmund Gold. I go, sure? I'm a I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like Asmund Gold. Uh, <laughs> no, they literally be... E e Put in the same league as Asmund Gold with something else, you know, with like someone at the hospital. Because this person obviously didn't know who I was. Um, since a lot of you are a beginning VTuber and nobody knows who you exactly are. And they, they put me in the same rank as Asmund Gold. I, I was like, take the fucking compliment. Just, just take the compliment. <laughs> And, like, I was a regular celebrity in the, um, infirmary, too, because, like, obviously, he, when Ashi came, um, the woman behind Ashi came there, she was like, obviously, you know, where's my friend? Is he okay? You know, like, they go, oh, he, he's in, like, the, uh, the resting area, you know? And he's in the, uh, his room, resting. She goes, like, can I see him? Can I see him? Please, I'm worried about him. And, like, a couple of my friends were there, like, old friends. Uh, my old friend Tex, because, like, um, he works in, like, the, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, like, FBI, uh, office. He heard what happened. He was there. Or my, uh, old family friend Robert. Or, or Roberto, as I should really be put it for his protection. Obviously, Roberto and his wife were there. My sis was there, obviously. They were all there. They were worried sick about me. The only person that wasn't there was my father and his friends. You know, like, Ashi ended up informing everyone, at least trying to, and my sister tried informing, like, my father. That didn't work out, because, like... My father didn't show up. Like, for the two days practically at the hospital, almost 48 hours, I... My father did not show up. He was not there. He was not there. He was not gonna be there. Uh... It, it was really bad. What happened. But at the same time, uh, this was because of, like several individuals on Twitter slash X I was monitoring. So, like, Ashi, in response, ended up making her own Twitter account and is uh, helping me, like, obviously, he, uh, spread my image. You know, like, reposting my stuff on her now Twitter account. Oh, uh, she made a new one. She has an alias one, she has her regular one, and now she has her B one. So she has her VTuber one, and she is going out of her way to help me out, you know, get my image marketed. Market our image entirely, actually. It's like, this is not just me, it's her, it's Geo. Um, Geo has not been able to do anything for a while. We'll get to that here in a minute. So, I'm just glad to say I'm back. I'm not at 100 percent. I'm barely at 100 percent. But I was uh, good enough to like, oh, make this model in head of time. Like before, like obviously this all happened. 
And obviously, this model, all's new look was done, and Ashi's model was done with the new jiggle physics, obviously. He, as I found a way for the jiggle physics to be a thing on the models. And there's my morning alarm. Letting me know, hey, it's time to stream, get the fuck up. But, uh, yeah. Also, I want to mention that the main reason why we're streaming in the mornings, right? Why me and Ashi are going to be streaming in the mornings. We are trying to reach more of a global audience. A global audience is important for a VTuber, so streaming in the mornings is really going to change everything. Like, early in the mornings, I gotta start streaming, so it's Ashi. We will be streaming then. And so far, like, you'll get, oh, one day of, of Commander D, and one day of Ashi. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that. Maybe sometimes Geo will join in when he feels like it, but as of right now, like, all you got is me and Ashi, because, like, he, uh, Geo is going through a personal hell right now. My, the person behind Geo Strider. Geo oh, himself is has found out some troubling news. His parents were falsely accused of aiding and abetting like illegal criminals in the small island nation of Haiti. Uh, this is freaked them the fuck out. This small island nation is already going through hell and back after the endless amounts of, like, earthquakes and floods that happened in, like, the late 2020s. The island nation is still recovering from this. They're still on the recovery effort. And that's when Geo's parents, by their local church, because they're, mi they're missionaries. They're people that go out there and, like, help people in other countries. They're missionaries. And now they're, they have been falsely a, a accused and arrested by a small, like, group of pliable terrorists that have taken over the area where they're at. And they're being tried by these people for, like, aiding and abetting their, um, and I quote, enemies. Now, y'all don't know anything about the island hate, the small part of the nation of Hades, like, I don't know what to tell you. The news doesn't talk about it anymore. Like, you're not gonna find this thing on the 8 o'clock news. Not everything is covered by news networks. And this small island nation left in ruins is not covered. So, Geo has been working with embassies around the small island nation, like trying to reason with them, trying to get them to save his parents. The main reason Geo couldn't be at the hospital because he's got his own with, like, what's going on in the world, with his world in general. And... He's, he's dealing with a lot right now. He did give me a call at the hospital, like, he called me several times during the day. But, like, most of the time, I, I was literally knocked up with, like, pain medications, and, like, I, I was literally being put through tests. Ugh. It, it was a whole ordeal. I hope Geo's parents, you know, obviously get saved before, like, the, this uh, small tribal faction of, like, lunatics really ends up taking their lives. Ashi has also informed me that one of the attackers have disappeared. They have called it quits. They have retreated. And I'm glad one of them is gone. She thought um, the second one was gone, but it seems they clearly, like, wiped their account, or, like, blacked out their account for a little while, and then quickly came back. And Ashi didn't know that was a thing. 
you know, like, people can, like, eat, uh, make their accounts disappear and then reappear on a later date. Um, I told her that's a thing when we got back to, like, my place. And she's like, oh, well, that's not fair at all. And I'm like, darling, it's not fair, fair, fair yet. Like, these people, they're not gonna quit, you know, like... I get you're worried about me and, like, all this stuff that happens. But we can't stop it, you know, like, these people are the way they are. They have opinions, they have thoughts, so they, that's what makes them normies. That's what makes them, you know, thoughts in general, you know, like, negative thoughts. These are people that cannot be stopped, they can't be bargained with. They can't be reasoned with, and, and all this, and uh, she has a hard time getting over that fact that these people are incapable of, of stopping. Like, people like them, they're incapable of stopping. I know that. But it seems after this event, like, obviously, the, um... Something good happened. I wish it didn't happen the way it did. But it happened. Ashi has come back. And... I wish it was under, like, a better situation. Than, like, this. Right? Because, like... Last thing she needs to uh, deal with is, like, a crippled commander with, like, that just dealt with that, that just had a huge anxiety attack. This anxiety attack was caused by not enough sleep, um, obviously, like, a little bit too much sugar in pay, because, like, I drink a lot of soda, like, that's how it is. Oh. Uh, wall of mirrors, by the way. Uh, but, uh, yes. I mean, all of this that went down... ...is, uh, something that uh, shouldn't have happened. And when I was delirious under the medications, like, I told Ashi to tell, like, everyone that watches the content, you know, or, like, for her to inform them. Uh, it is the streamer's job to inform their followers when stuff like this happens. Stuff happens. And it's our job to inform y'all that y'all know, hey, you know, such and such got, uh, injured or hurt or was sick or is not feeling good and we're keeping you up to date. Ashi also did like a Seed News Network on the live stream, uh, because like she needed to do something to keep the streams alive, and I thank her for her efforts and everything she did. Ashi is a real go getter, you know. She, she's a real, oh, she's a real girl, you know. She's a real gal, she's a real friend. I treasure her that she did all this. Obviously, for all of you and for me, we'll let y'all know that you know some things happen and um, all that. But things are gonna get better, you know. She did this, and when I was in a delirious state. But I knew, one way or another, like, I knew y'all had to know, like, what the hell was going on. Because it was going to freak people out. Because if y'all couldn't tell in that live stream, I, I was literally hilarious. I was dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety and all that kind of stuff. the ones that actually noticed that on my birthday stream, thank you so much. To the ones that didn't, I don't blame you, sometimes I'm hard to read in that mannerism, you know, like, sometimes it's hard to 
who uh, read what's on my mind, or like what's happening. I'm not an easy guy to read. Uh, I get that. Like, as YouTubers, it's our job to live out the act, live out the stick, you know, live out the play. We, while also, like, talking about our day-to-day -day lives and, like, what happens, you know, who are we, what our lives are like, you know, because we have to grow connection with y'all, because y'all can't see our faces, you know, you don't know who we look like. We don't know uh, exactly like who we are, where we come from, what we do, how we do it, you know, and it's a VTuber's job to bridge that gap, you know, make a bridge of trust and, you know, overall reliability, and for us to literally in constant contact in some sort of way, because, like, Ashi ended up telling me, oh, like, when a tiger came back and is calling me a scammer. This is what happens with attackers. Like, they'll find any and every reason to blame you. Ooh, for, like, everything. They are incapable of doing anything good or right. They want to blame everything on the streamer. They want to blame in all situations in their life, you know, all, like, issues, all problems, all this, all that, uh, all, all, all on the streamer, and because they can't deal with their day-to-day -day lives. They don't know how to really just deal with being human. And I'm that one guy that's literally like out in the world, um, living, living a life, meeting people. And with a lot of attackers online, you know, they don't have this luxury. They, they don't have this capability, this day and age to to make it and have a life like their own. This person is genuinely upset and jealous that I have something that they don't. They can claim that, oh, I have it, I've always had it. But when they do that, they are really admitting that I don't have this. You have it. I hate that you have it. I don't like that you have it. I don't think you should, you deserve it. I think I deserve it more than you. These are the mindsets of attackers, you know, like of normies. When normies attack a VTuber, they have this mindset that this VTuber is doing something in that they wish that he can do or have or able to understand entirely. And this is where they get severely angry and jealous and upset. Where the streamer is having a bit of a better life. And my life is not all that better. I'm going to be real. Like, you think my life is all sunshine and rainbows as a streamer. No. As a VTuber, as a streamer, as a man right now. In my day in life. My life right now is the hardest it's ever been. But I'm I'm loving it. I'm living it. I'm I'm being human. And for this person to not have these things, but then come off saying, Oh, I have all this. No, I'm better than you. I'm stronger than you. It really shows how shallow and selfish they are. Because they don't have this stuff, right? They don't have what I currently have in my life. 
and Ashi's life because, like, we have a life now. They don't have a life, and they'll try to come off stronger, better, you know, because that's what they do. Attackers do this. They try to come off better than the screamer because they it makes them feel like they have some power, some control over the streamer, you know, over their livelihood and, you know, influence. When it comes to, like, online attackers, they are incapable of, like, being human. And they want to blame everything on the streamer. Because the streamer is doing something that uh, they have no understanding of, or no capable way of doing, or, or even that of just wanting to do it. With these, with these attackers, these abusers, they steal our content, they steal our art, they don't go out of their way to create their own, they steal our posts, they try to come off like us. You know, they try to lie and slander our names, our identities, our careers, because we have something they don't, and they hate that. They hate that we have something they don't, and they don't understand it. And I was telling this to Ashi, like, all last night, as I was putting the finished touches on, like, both of our models, new models, you know, and she's realized, oh, oh, so this person's just generally upset and jealous. They are incapable of being, like, seeing anything good, huh? I go, like, understatement of the goddamn millennia. Complete and utter understatement, darling. Because that's sad. I feel sad for this person. I pity them. I said, that's the proper mindset. She's like, at first I hated them. I hated them for attacking you and the content and all of us. Three of us. But it seems right now, like all I can do is just pity them. Hades, this person. She is beside herself in, like, sadness because this person is incapable of being a human being. They're incapable of finding their own happiness and joy and going out in the world. Like, I don't care who this person is anymore. This person... They're so incapable of finding their own happiness and joy and learning to struggle out in the world on their own while doing it, you know? One thing that me and Ashi do, you know, one thing we have, we have a life now. We have lives. You know, we create this content. We live stream. We, we create animations. Do the Seed News Network, you know, oh, we do all this, and this person can't deal with that. When people attack a streamer, it's something they can't deal with, because they don't know anything about the streamer in general, and that's what really triggers them. It, 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 it triggers them, you know? Like, it triggers them. It makes them angry. Makes them mad. Makes them upset. Wants to have someone cancel them. Wants to find any way to destroy them. You know? Point taken. You know? Also, Ashi putting these like key binds. Like, I wasn't upset. She got the wrong image. Uh, I'm so glad that uh, uh, I made that clear that she got the wrong image with that. I was quite happy she did it. Because it's, there's a lot of things I haven't done yet that I need to as I was streaming during the day. 
and as I stream during the day, obviously I don't have the time or the due diligence to do like these simple things. And she did it. She did it while I was gone. She also informed me that there was a the security system picked up a couple more like attackers. One of them tried to come off like Joey's account, obviously, and tried to uh like, destroy the Discord. The security system overall stopped it. When Ashi makes a goddamn custom security system, she makes a goddamn custom security system. These things do not fail. They're incapable of failing. She's good at her freaking job. I don't even think Pirate Software knows who's the woman behind Ashi is. Because she's new in the field and she's a freelancer. Pirate Software, like himself, I, I, obviously he's a... Uh, he's contracted, he's a contract guy. Ashi is more freelance, you know? She, he literally goes with, like, people that, uh, needs it the most, or, or obviously, like, has, is willing to pay the price she asks for. She's a freelance programmer. Don't get me wrong, I really do like pirate software, but he doesn't know everything. He knows a lot! A lot more than I know. But he probably has no idea who Ashi is. And I'm glad to say that. Ain't no way. Like that guy will be able to figure out who really Ashi is. There's a reason why she goes with a voice changer. Or for like everything. And that reason is her privacy. She knows how people are online are about VTubers. She watches several of them from like Iron Mouse to like the big ones like Galdora, Iron Mouse, Project Melody, all of them. Like, she watches them. She loves them. And she wanted to become one of them. And one of the main reasons she came out to find me at that uh, convention just. I was a local VTuber. I, I was someone that was had an idea of how it worked. She just didn't know how much of an idea of how it worked, and how she didn't know how much of an idea I knew how like everything worked. When she found out how much I knew, ooh, along with, with Geo, like they were like, hell yeah, um, you know, we're in your corner. You know, obviously, we got the talking at that convention, and then that whole thing with the with the, like that creature happened, and uh, obviously, we uh, we've been in contact ever since. And Geo's like obviously a couple of times away from us, while me and Ashi live in the same town, like we live in the same city, and. Ashi also told me, like, this attacker is, like, obviously not very smart, they're not very bright. So, my first get is that this person was a child. You know, my first estimation that this person was just a huge freaking child that was attacking us was so on point. This is a child trying to cancel someone because they feel like it's their duty. <laughs> duty. Uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, it, it's messed up. So, despite all this, we're not going to stop. 
we're content creators, we're streamers, we're trying to make it in this, this overall, like, you know, form of content creation. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for showing up uh, here today. I just wanted to do, like, a short stream telling you, hey, I'm alive, I'm okay, I'm alright. It, uh, I will return Monday. Ashi's gonna do more of a stream on Sunday. I gotta take things easy, obviously. I just wanted to do a short stream and let y'all know what the hell is going on with everything. Um, we don't know if Geo's gonna, the person behind Geo's gonna continue to do Geo or he's planning to graduate from the model and let somebody else take the ring eventually. Me and Ashi are gonna continue to do our work and entertain all of you and keep you up to date. Thank you so much. Uh, I have been Commander D, aka Commander Devin Lionheart. You know, I commanded your nuts to obviously come here to, uh, you know, see everything that was going on and how everything's gonna get better, obviously. As I'm alright. Going to be all right. We're going to be okay. We're sorry for the scare, but at the same time, it's a VTuber's job to let, uh, you know, oh, their watchers, their followers, you know, their their uh, subscribers, all that, know what the hell is going on. That's our job. We have to open a bridge of trust and. You know, obviously, us staying in contact with our situations with all of you is where that bridge of trust is made. Ashi will be here tomorrow, and live streaming from her place, obviously. I am in Commander D, aka Commander Devin Lionheart, and I'll see y'all on the next world. Obviously. Until next time. <laughs> uh, bye bye.